Dave? Dave? Dave, where are you? Dave? Is that you? Dave, it's me, John. No, it, it can't. It can't be. I, I sent you back to the future. No, I know. I know you sent me back to the future. I'm back from the future. Great Scott! Ah, it's the battery. Is it dead? No, not completely, but there's not enough power being generated to ignite the plutonium, thereby producing the 1.21 gigawatts required for time travel. What are we going to do? Okay, I'll work on the power issue. In the meantime, you need to go try to stop Biff. You gotta be very careful not to run into your past self. The consequences of that could be disastrous. What do you mean? I see two possibilities. One, coming face to face with your future self, could put you into a state of shock, and knowing you, you'll simply pass out. Or two, the encounter could create a time paradox, the result of which could cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe! Granted, that's worst case scenario. The destruction may actually be very localized, limited merely to our own galaxy. Oh, that's a relief. Some kind of a joke? So how's this supposed to work? John, it's pretty simple. As you can see, I've got two poles set exactly 10 feet apart with this high tension cable running and connecting to the 240 volt three phase house circuitry. At the exact same time, I am going to utilize the H.248 control of this media gateway. Yes, it is the end of sale G700. I am going to take that, connect it directly to the cable, and at the exact same time, you are going to be going around the warehouse coming through these posts at a perfect 8.8 .8 miles per hour. At that time, I will take the H.248 signaling plus the 240 volts, combine it, plug it directly into the flux capacitor, providing the perfect 1.21 gigawatts that are required to send you back to the future of 2010. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, go back to the poles and the gigawatts and the machine and cables and your connecting stuff. <laughs> no, don't you worry about that. All you need to do is make sure you get to 8.8 .8 miles per hour and get it with that hook. Everything will be great after that.
Okay, Dave, now that we've restored the timeline and you fixed the time machine, let's go back to the future and look at Cross Delivered and see how it's changed our world. Absolutely not. No, time travel is simply too dangerous. No, in fact, I think we need to devote our attention to the other great mystery of the universe, sales logics. John? Great Scott! Double dip and double D. Boom, boom, boom.